Hello, and a belated happy 2015. As we begin this new year, my first is your bishop. I wanted to take this opportunity to speak with you, the many members of my new diocesan family. First, let me say how grateful I am for the warm welcome that has been extended to me since our Holy Father named me as your bishop. I've had the chance to visit many communities already, and in every instance, I have been inspired by the great sense of faith I have found here. I've been made to feel very much at home, and that has been a wonderful gift. In my travels and meetings, I've heard from so many on the need to revitalize our faith community, to welcome back disenfranchised Catholics, to energize our young people, Many have come to me with thoughtful ideas on how we might achieve these goals. I'm committed to these causes because I believe our Catholic faith is the source of so much hope and inspiration, a bright light in a sometimes challenging world. In every corner of our diocese, there are critical needs which I would like to be able to address. But like so many of you, I must weigh these concerns against the limited resources available. It is the same reality so many of us face every month when we have to pay our bills and balance our checkbooks. Our diocesan church is no different. Among my objectives in the coming months is to continue to listen and to be attentive before setting course on my own initiatives. Of course, some matters cannot wait and have required my more immediate attention. And among the most pressing, and one that will have a long lasting impact on our diocesan community, is the future of Cathedral High School. Since announcing a review of options last November, there has been much public discussion. Unfortunately, this has led to some misunderstanding which I'd like to address now in the effort to clarify the issue before us. Let's start with some facts everyone should be able to agree on. That Catholic schools have played an important role in our diocesan church. That Cathedral High School and its legacy have played an important part in that history. At the same time, our support for Catholic education as a whole and Cathedral High School in particular, has increasingly taken up a larger and larger portion of our limited financial resources. It is a situation which, must, which I must be completely honest with you, is no longer sustainable. With this in mind, I ask that a coordinated process of facilitated dialogues and problem-solving sessions be developed to try to find the best solution for the diocese. I'm extremely grateful to those who have given up their time over the last two months to undertake this process. I am pleased to announce that we have concluded the first phase and are now preparing for the critical problem-solving workshops, which are scheduled to begin on January 24th. Those who will participate in the problem-solving sessions will be asked to come, not just as representatives of their constituency groups, but as members of the diocesan family, with an open mind and heart so as to honestly confront our challenges and to develop a realistic plan. This, and this alone, offers us the only route to solve this challenge. Many have engaged in rallies and other public demonstrations of support for Cathedral High School. Their commitment to this beloved school is to be commended, and I join them in their admiration for the great legacy of Cathedral High School. But those actions, in and of themselves, don't respond to the financial and enrollment challenges we face. That is why I remain committed to this process as the only route to find a realistic solution. A solution which cannot be based on highly speculative projections, but based on a realistic plan 
based on the facts that we know regarding our Catholic population and the economic reality of our community. The task is daunting. I will grant you that. But as a church, we need to be honest and open considering all of the facts, even those which highlight the challenges which have had a negative impact upon our diocese and this school. Although the focus is Cathedral High School, this is not a decision limited to one city or neighborhood, but it will have an impact on the whole of the diocese and in some regards, the future direction we take for all of Catholic education. Ultimately, I must decide on what direction to take based on the needs of the whole diocesan community and how to best utilize the limited resources with all of the needs we face. In the coming weeks, there will be more to share. For now, I ask for your prayers for all those who will be engaged in these discussions. In the end, let us remember that we are brothers and sisters in Christ. It is him we serve. It is only him that we follow on whatever path his spirit leads us. I wish to you and to your families all of God's good blessings. Thank you.